So I should be live. Hopefully. Sorry about my failed attempt before. It turns out that the audio was going to my television. That's why I couldn't hear myself. But in any case, here I am. I'm in bed. Yes, it's because I've had a cold for the last three or four days. I don't normally do live streams. <sighs> they make me feel rather uncomfortable. Um, but the reason I'm doing this one is because I just received something in the mail. And uh, thanks, yeah, I like my shirt too. My wife got me this. Trust me, the body doesn't go with the shirt. I can tell you that right now. I'm just going to have to <laughs> cover that part up. But anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing this live stream is because I got something in the mail, something I'm extremely proud of. Well, actually, I don't know if I should be proud of it yet because I've never even played one of these before. Um, <clears throat> oh, hang on. So anyway ordered something on Amazon, and I'm going to do one of those unboxing things. Ah. Ah. So, without any further ado, let's see if I that right. Whee. Hey. Hey. I've only got one person. I had eight people before. I got all this weird stuff falling all over me from the packet. That's the last time I do this in my bed. All right. So here is the box. Oh, it's around the wrong way. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. On my screen, it looks backwards, but Ocarina Wind. Love music. Enjoy Ocarinas. Made in China, apparently. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Nice to, nice to see you there. Oh. Yeah. I don't normally do live streams. Hey, the golden child. Ah. At least, at least when I do a live stream, I can actually talk to the people who message me because it's not like I've got a thousand people trying to talk to me at once. So this box is useless now. I'll throw that away. All right. So it comes in this. This is actually really cool because. Uh, this is the first time I've ordered an instrument and it's come in a really a nice case. It's like a, a purse, but we shall call it a man bag. Hey, T-Dog. What's up is I'm opening stuff from Amazon. Um, when I got this, this was my the, my last Amazon purchase, um, which is a, a kalimba. It just came in a box. And they gave me this little pouch to put it in. But uh, nothing as cool as this man bag. So I'm going to open it up. So I've got five people watching and only one light. That means four of you hate me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is nice. Okay. <clears throat> Live chatting from bed. Oh, yeah. It's because I'm, I'm actually sick. I have a cold. I've been in bed for three days, but that's it there. Wow, it is nice. So, oh, what was her name now? I can't remember. I, I watched a video the other day by uh, this lady who does reviews of musical instruments. I've been posting it on my community page. And uh, this was one of the Ocarinas she suggested for beginners. Big hugs and best wishes to get over this long cold. Thank you. <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, all the congestion's gone. I just feel wrecked. Okay, so, wow, this is amazing. That's that's beautiful. It's um, I think it's ceramic. It actually feels it's extremely smooth, and it's it's quite cold. So, but man, that's that. That is beautiful. I'm really excited about this. Before I test it, I wanted to show you my other ocarina, uh, ocarina, ocarina, ocarina. I'm not sure. Uh, come on. Uh, this is my my lunchbox of. This actually was a lunchbox, but I commandeered it for my harmonicas. But I have, I well, I have a niece who last year went on a um school trip to China. Actually, no, it wasn't last year. It was two years, three years ago. I don't think many people would be going to China in COVID times, uh, from my country at least. 
So this, okay, technically this isn't, I mean, I guess it is a type of ocarina, but I have a Chinese friend who said that this is called a, a Jun, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's actually spelled X -O, uh, X -U -N. Um, I go on shy out. How's the wife, family, work, church, etc. Do, do we know each other? How do you know I have a wife and children? <laughs> I guess it's a good guess, but um, okay. Anyway, everyone's good. Everyone's good, and um, uh, I believe in Corona enough to know that. Thankfully, I don't have it. <laughs> I've just got a cold, so you're not going to catch it uh, from your videos. Oh, okay, yeah, of course I've been. Yeah, bring on for ages about stuff. But anyway, back to this. So this is Kuda Jun. Uh, it's about X-U-N, and it kind of sounds like this. I haven't really been practicing it much, but it goes. So um, the principles are kind of the same as any wind instrument. It doesn't have a good work range. So. Um, you can really only play one octave and that was really frustrating me for a while because while there are some songs that sound really good <laughs> um yeah i forgot how distracting live streams can be when people are writing to you all the time um you introduced the word puku to our vocabulary puku probably went well during COVID. <laughs> For those who don't know, years ago I did a series before I was doing music videos where I was trying to lose weight and it was called The Death of My Big Fat Puku. Puku is a Maori word or Maori word which means um, tummy. <clears throat> and at the time I had a very big puku. Hi, enjoy harmonica. And, and this guy, T-Dog, you got me into harmonica due to your snuff can be. Oh, wow, that's really cool. I really wanted to make more snuffkin videos, um, but yeah, there was a problem where there's another guy, his name's Gareth Evans, he teaches guitar. He almost lost his channel last year because he um, uh, he was making tutorials and creating tabs for songs that, um, uh, you know, modern songs that aren't in the public domain, and some record company tried to shut him down I mean, well, I, frankly, it was, well, like you said, I, I thought it was fair use. But it kind of put the fear of God in me, so to speak. I I, I um, I'm, I don't really want to make, I don't want to risk my channel. So I, I've been doing uh, public domain songs lately. And, you know, I might go back and do some more com com uh, commercial songs, but we'll see. So anyway, that was just a, oh. Shuffle, shuffle request. No way. No, no, that's um, that's embarrassing. So okay, as <laughs> I used to do that a lot at school, the truffle shuffle. Um, so on the top you got these holes, right? And on the bottom, you got these holes. Then you got oh this this hole or oh, the embouchure. Or whatever they call it, the umbu. I'm not French, but uh, I don't know why not? You did it before and laughed while doing it. Yeah, but last time I was like ten years younger. Now I'm ten years older with kids, and if they saw me doing it, they would probably die of shame and embarrassment. Okay, so ah, uh, cool. So here's a little diagram that they sent sent me. Jeez, on my screen it's totally backwards, but uh, playing the 12 hole of Karana. So I've got to hold it so that. Now I've never played one of these ones before, so don't expect anything. Don't expect anything. So these holes here are covered by, by those fingers, and then this back hole is covered by that thumb. I am at, I think. And so then that means that these, oh, that one's covered like that. And then that one's covered by that thumb. And I imagine that little one, that hole on the bottom, which you probably can't see. 
Hi, Nico, three blocks. <laughs> How are you? Anyway, that must be where the sound comes from. So it's now I have to say already I'm starting to feel that this is a little bit awkward because on a say if this was a tin whistle or a recorder or even the uh, even the gin that I just tried playing before, you'd you'd hold it like this. But this is a bit more like the fife in that you kind of kind of gotta tilt yeah things around. Wait, I know this channel. I hope you know this channel. Hello. Hi, Tyler Studios. Tyler Studios. Oh, that's lovely. Listen to this. It's a real haunting sound. In fact, I'm just guessing. Like, okay, for those of you who just joined, I don't know what I'm doing. I just received this Ocarina in the mail. <clears throat> of course, I purchased it. It's not like Amazon decided to send it to me out of the kindness of their hearts, if they have any. But uh, I have never played this before. But, you know, when I get a new instrument like this, particularly a wind instrument, I always assume that the rules are the same as with all the others. So let's go. Okay, uh, don't expect anything good. Thanks for introducing Jun to us. <laughs> Thank you. Look, I'm not a great Jun player. I, I, I actually don't even know if I'm saying that properly. Um, I would like to do more lessons on it later on down the track, but um, I'm still trying to get the hang of it myself. But uh, And now I'm trying to get the hang of this, but... Wow, it's a really lovely sounding instrument. Um, of course, it will depend on the person playing it, which in this case, it doesn't sound nice. Um, but now, I'm trying to figure out if you can see this. It's got these holes for my four fingers. It's got this hole here. And then this one has the same thing. Now, it reminds me of a recorder, how when you look at a recorder, you've got the extra extra holes at the bottom. Why did I decide to live stream tonight? Well, first of all, it comes down to the fact that I just really wanted to do an unboxing video and I didn't have anybody else to hold the camera. So I thought, hey, I'll live stream. Secondly, it's actually quarter past nine in the morning where I am, so it's not, not, not night time. So uh, just, if you can, actually, guys, give me a quick shout out. Let me know. In the comments what time it is where you are because um one reason well there's a couple of reasons why i don't live stream um one is because um they make me feel extremely uncomfortable uh <laughs> two um in new zealand i'm like i'm in the future it's it's thursday today and i imagine for most of you it's probably either late wednesday night or really really early thursday morning it's 5 p.m. where you are. Where are you, Tyler? Uh, live streaming will always be cool. Just to see someone you've been a fan of on video for many years and talk with that person unexpectedly in real time. Yeah, yeah, I definitely get that. It is, it is kind of cool. I have to say, uh, I've mentioned this before, it's really cool, actually, when there's only a few people in the group because um, you can actually reply to comments. Um, oh, Toronto. Okay. So it's still Wednesday where you are. See, I'm in the future and we're still here. The world hasn't blown up. So you can look forward to Thursday. Uh, GTG have, oh, see you, Tyler. Oh, thanks for stopping by. It was really nice. The continent of North America. That's so cool. Oh, I am in Toronto. I'm not in, sorry. Yeah, I missed, I read the other person's one. I thought it was yours, but, uh, that is interesting. Have a great time. Thank you. Anyway, back to this. Um, so distracting. Uh, so, yeah, I was trying to figure out what these extra holes are. It reminds me a bit of a recorder. Uh, actually, I'll just show you. Ugh. Okay, this is my really mounted 
that's the thing we say in New Zealand, munted, if something looks um, like it's falling apart. Okay, so see how a recorder has these extra holes and they will like raise the sound, I think, a semitone. Um, so let's, let's actually, I don't normally use them because I just play basic tunes on these instruments. So if I do that, hang on. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a while since I played record. I'm not even going to try to demonstrate that. Ugh. Okay, so back to this one. I'm just trying to figure out what these extra holes do. Oh, uh, yeah, see that? It's So uh, it's like um, raising it a semitone. But that was weird because, hold on. So you hear how it sort of went. Ooh. So that's what, yeah, it just adds an extra dynamic, I guess. So I should be able to get some really haunting uh, notes. Now the question is though, so this goes, Did you hear that? It's not quite right, is it? It's meant to, it doesn't quite go up that whole step. Oh, one last thing, people. Make sure you give the live stream a like, please. Ah. Oh. That's so cool. Thank you. Okay. Now, with the Yun, if I want to hit those extra high notes, I'd, I'd normally take my thumb off one of these holes, which is just like in a recorder when you you have your thumb hole on the bottom. And by pinching that thumb hole, you can produce higher notes. So I'm assuming that the same rule applies with the ocarina. So... Yep, see, so I took my thumb away. But let's see, if I keep my thumb off. Oh, and now this is interesting, hold on. So with my thumb on it, I go. Take my thumb off that one. So actually, um raised all those notes uh i don't know if that was a you know, okay so to get that fourth note right i had to raise my right hand thumb as well so It looks like you've got a choice. I can either go, or I could go to make the same note. So, yeah, it looks like there's a range of possibilities with this one. And um, obviously, I'm going to have to sit down and figure them all out. But, uh, man, that, 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 this, honestly, to hold this, it feels so good. It just feels. It, it's just very smooth. Like, look at that. I am so psyched about getting this. Now, obviously, this is just going to go in my drawer and I'll probably never play it again. <laughs> no, that's not true. But I do tend to... I have to be careful because I buy instruments thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to practice that every day. And then I'm going to go to work and... <laughs> Spend time actually making videos, and before I know it, 
I'm like, ah, oh, that's right. I got a Macarena in the drawer. I should be playing that. But uh, lately, just to fill you in on a few things, do a bit of a um, uh, a bit of a channel update. So apart from having this cold, uh, this just knocked me out. Quite a few things have happened in my life lately. Um, I've uh, I've been promoted in my job. So one of the reasons why I used to be able to make uh, regular videos was because, well, actually, I mean, I still make regular videos. There's no use to about it. But um, I make regular videos uh, because I've only ever really, well, for the last four years, I've only worked 20 hours a week because I've had a job where um, I'm actually the technical manager of a cinema. So um, <clears throat> I look after all, uh, we used to be called projectionists, but now we're called um, digital technicians. Uh, because we switched from film to digital. So I look after projectors and, and cinema um, stuff. Basically, uh, when you go to a cinema, all the, all the audio equipment, all the, all the projection equipment, even the light bulbs, I have to change those. So that's what I do in my day job. Uh, and it left me heaps of time to do cool things like um, learn instruments and put them away in drawers and never touch them again. Uh, but uh, now I've actually had a promotion. So now I'm not just the duty manager of a uh, cinema. I'm now also, uh, sorry, I'm not just the technical manager of a cinema, but I'm also a duty manager as well. So uh, my, my hours of work have increased significantly. Uh, hopefully that won't affect my channel at all, but um, I am a very busy person. Um, I'm, I'm having to sort of tone down on... Um, Hey, Annabelle, nice to see you. Thanks. Wow, 1 a.m. where you are. That's crazy. Well, yeah, definitely go to bed. And Paul Homera, congrats on the promotion. <laughs> How did you know I was doing this, Paul? Paul's my mate who moved to Australia. He abandoned me. We used to play set with a guitar every Saturday. And then he went, I'm going to Australia. And he went, so stuff you, Paul. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, anyway, so thanks for dropping by. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I got a lot of um, I got a lot of responsibilities now. So I'm gonna I've, I'm just sort of toning down in my personal quest for music. I'm just focusing more on guitar and um, kalimba, uh, particularly the seventeen pronged kalimba. Um, and, and of course I'm making the harmonica videos. Most of my practice on the harmonica is done when I'm actually preparing the videos though. I'm not a great harmonica player. I'm a person who likes to figure out how to play something and then tell other people how to play it. But I don't spend enough time in it to actually master style. Like I can't play blues or anything like that. But, you know, if you want to advance your harmonica stuff, go to learntheharmonica.com with Liam Ward. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's that's that. So yeah, you expect to get at least one tutorial out of me a week. Uh, the other thing is, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I don't know if, if, if any of you guys follow my community page, um, but uh, you know, if you've been watching my videos for for a long time, you've probably seen that. You know, I've got a lot of channel art. All my harmonicas and musical instruments are generally hand, uh, well, I say hand drawn. They're drawn on Adobe, like uh, on Animate. Um, anyway, I, I've come up with a lot of weird, wacky things that have been in my videos over the years. Um, and uh, somebody, well, I did a survey and quite a few of you said that you'd like to see how I actually do that. This is kind of, added an interesting dynamic to my channel now uh, for the last three days I've been um, creating a time-lapse video where I've recorded my screen and I'm creating a graphic uh, and you'll be able to see how I make all the the um, art for my videos so uh, that'll be something new uh, now when you see it go up don't freak out I'm still making tutorials it's just um, you know, every now and then you've got to do something different because otherwise it just gets boring and life needs to be less boring. So anyway, um, that's it really. I don't really have much of a channel update, but um, 
I just wanted to show you this really cool toy and I'm just so stoked that it came in this really awesome man purse. It's and look actually before we before we stop, let's just see. There, there, there's a little plastic bag in there. Um which comes with this awesome little look ocarina wind microfiber. Now obviously this will probably help me clean my glasses. Ooh. Yeah, that looks great. So I got a little microfiber thing. I put that back in a plastic bag. And look, it's, oh, look at that. It actually came with like a nice hippie style. Okay, so yeah, that goes around the old neck. And it is indeed old. Hey, Paul, are you still watching? Okay, so there's there is another little hole here. So I imagine the idea is that I I don't know if I really want to do this. I'm just gonna slip that through there. Ah, oh, you are still watching. Sorry if this is boring. Oh yeah, I just tie this up. Ah, oh, we'll do it anyway. See, the thing is that actually no, I won't. That that thing that bothers me is that's so thin. I'm worried that if it broke, this this is ceramic, and it just fall to the ground and smash. So no, I'm just gonna trust the old fingery doos and say, ah, oh, this this is for those latecomers, for you, Paul. This is an ocarina. This is why I did this live stream in the first place, um, because this I I unboxed this at the beginning, but um, it's basically a wind instrument that I don't know how to play. You cover the holes with your fingers on both sides. It sounds like this. Let's see if I can actually play something. Actually, I just realized it's probably copyright. I can't play that. Let's try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. bad for someone who's never played the ocarina before eh that's uh, so like i said these instruments they might look vastly different from each other but the logic and the rules behind them generally tend to be the same which is why i could kind of play twinkle twinkle little star without ever having played one of these before so uh, that's it really i don't have anything else to say Hey, you got this. Thanks, Amazon. Yeah, I'm pretty. Like, I can honestly see if I had more money to spend, I would probably just buy new stuff like this all the time, and um, and then it would all go in a cupboard somewhere, and I'd probably never touch it. So just as well, I don't have more money. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's it. I don't have anything else. I've got nothing. So I might as well stop. Unless you guys want to fire some questions at me and I'll just sit here and answer them. That's pretty awesome. Sounds like a recorder, but a better sound. Oh, yeah, it's a heaps better sound. I'll show you. The thing is with recorder, and look, I'm not ashamed to admit this, is recorders really suck. Um, <laughs> if you get someone who's really good on the recorder, you can. they sound awesome. But when you're learning, it's, it, they just sound awful. Like you don't want a kid learning harmonica in your uh, recorder in your house. See how jarring that is. It's piercing. It's like where is this thing? It's not jarring. It's not piercing. It's like it's not so much. It's more, you know, so it's quite nice. Aww. Somebody retracted a message. That's not fair. I wanted to read it. 
Okay, anyway, I'm playing, I'm planning to buy this too. Teach us how to play. Are you talking about the ocarina? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, if, if I can learn a few songs on this, I'll definitely start making videos on this. Unfortunately, don't expect them tomorrow because it takes me ages to do anything, honestly. Um, I'll show you something. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, ah, let me just reach over here. Ah, ah. I don't want you to see all my snotty tissues that I've been blowing into these last few days. Seriously, having a cold sucks. Ah. <sighs> okay, so, like, to give you an idea of how long it takes me to do anything, um, in here, this is my folder, this is my to tab folder, and these are all the, these are all the um, tutorials that I have made videos for, but I've got, I'm just wait, I'm just waiting to find a moment where I can actually create some tablature for them to put on my blog. This, on the other hand, this is to record. So these here, these are all the tutorials that I have written. Let me see if I can. So these are all the tutorials. Oh, that's, see, that was a good thickness shot. These are all the tutorials that I've written that I have not yet recorded. Um, because it just takes ages for me to do anything. So I think people get frustrated with my channel because uh, they're still waiting for me to make that one tutorial that they've been waiting for for weeks. But the reality is it just takes weeks. Um, it takes me uh, about three or four days to make a tutorial. But, um, yeah, I've taken the long road. I'm, I'm just um, I'm making them for so many different instruments that that's why it takes so long. Yes, it sucks and it's kind of gross. Yeah, it is, it is kind of gross. Probably shouldn't have mentioned it. But um, uh, at least I'm past that phase with the cold now. I'm not. I'm not, um, I'm not congested and stuff. Now I'm just weak and irritated and don't know what I'm saying half the time. So anyway, at least I've got some time to work on some videos while I'm sitting here doing nothing. But I guess that's it. Anyone else got any questions? Just going to give you a minute. It's funny when you do a live stream, you sit down thinking, oh, I'm just going to do this for five minutes, and then you realize 33 minutes has gone by. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm just about done. But anyway, thank you for stopping by. I'm going to be practicing this today. This is going to be my my wonderful little escape for the day. And, uh, oh, colds have become rarish in the States. Is that right? Well, I guess you guys have had lots of lockdowns and things, haven't you? I, I, I get at least two good colds a year, I'd say. Um, thankfully, I haven't had the flu for a very long time. Um, I get my flu jab every year. Um, in New Zealand, you get them for free if you're an asthmatic. So thankfully, I, I'm not a serious asthmatic, but uh, because I'm registered as one, I get my flu shot. So, uh, yeah, I only have to worry about colds. But uh, good luck for you. Yep, that's it. Then once you come out, bam, instant sickness. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a crazy couple of years. Thankfully, we had two. Oh, hang on. We had three lockdowns in Auckland. One was the major one we had in March last year. That one went on for over a month. <clears throat> uh, but that was all of New Zealand. And then we had two subsequent lockdowns i think one was two weeks long and the other one was just over a week or maybe under a week i can't remember but those ones were auckland specific that's where i come from auckland so um this year actually i'm just trying to remember if the last lockdown was early this year or late last year but this year we haven't had any uh cases to well that have been 
a concern enough to cause a lockdown. So uh, yeah, New Zealand's doing pretty well. Um, a lot of people would like to say that it's because of our government, but uh, I tend to think more that it's because we're on the bottom of the world. We live in the armpit of the universe down here, so uh, it's very hard for a virus to get here unless we let it. So my favorite guy from the 2000s, have a good rest. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to rest now. So anyway, you guys have fun. Keep practicing. And uh, I've got a new video coming out on Sunday morning. Um, yeah, i got a new – it's another Wellerman one for people to play the tremolo harmonica with 24 holes. Uh, then I've got uh, – I should have a time-lapse of my art coming out, hopefully. I'm aiming for Monday morning, which for most of you will be Sunday morning. But uh, we'll see about that one. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's, it is taking a while for me to make. Um, and I should have – yeah, I'm not sure. I've got, I do have a lot of things um, planned and in the pipeline. But, uh, yeah, expect to get some more content from me soon. And I'll just read this last message. Do you get out of the country? Do you have travel ambitions for when your borders open up more? <laughs> this is funny. Me personally, no. I, uh, I... I'm not a very ambitious traveler. I I like to travel up here. I like to read and get into fantasy, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. My wife, on the other hand, she really likes to travel, so I end up traveling anyway. Um, I would like to see more of my own country. Uh, if, if anything, that's what, uh, what COVID, sorry, has has actually um, done is it's made Kiwis travel more inside their own country. We do have what's called actually I'm not sure what the uh, what the status of it is at the moment because in Australia Victoria's had um, another big lockdown. We have what's called a travel bubble with um, with Australia because they're the, you know they're our closest neighbours. Um, so. Yeah, I my wife has a lot of family over there, so we do uh, go over there. Usually we'd go there at least once a year uh, to Brisbane or to the Sunshine Coast. Uh, COVID happened, so we haven't been since November 2019. Uh, so, yeah, I think my biggest ambition would be to go visit family and friends in Australia uh, when I'm able to. But the problem is at the moment, even though there is a travel bubble, it's still risky because if, if Australia gets any cases, if, Australia is like America, they have states. So when a state has a case, that state locks down. So we won't be able to travel to that state, but we can travel to the other states. Um, New Zealand doesn't have states. We just have the North Island and the South Island, but they're both governed by, you know, the, the central government. So... Um, yeah, so we don't really – it just doesn't work the same way. But anyway, um, I can't even remember what my point is. My brain is so foggy right now. Um, point is uh, the best I can hope for is to travel to Australia, but, um, you know, in the near future. But um, if there is a lockdown in the state that I choose to go to, that could cause problems. Uh, that would mean having to come back and quarantine and all that. And it costs uh, more money than I can I can – I can afford so no nah, no travel ambitions I, I i would like to i would like to go to the south island more I, I went to christchurch earlier this year and that was wonderful so i think and for me personally in the near future i'd rather just just hang out in new zealand but you know you guys are welcome to come over and hey shane's teaching but he says hi too sorry my friend elizabeth just logged in and said hi her husband, Shane, is the guitar guy. I post his videos on my community page sometimes, so make sure you check those out, Shane Kamel. Anyway, look, I'm, I'm blabbering now. This whole thing was, uh, yeah, definitely. I would love to go down your way uh, at some point. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I just wanted to show off this. Expect to see more of this in the near future. And uh, I think it's a timely, timely time to... Say so have a nice time, and until next time, stay tuned. So what do I do? This is, this is where the old guy looks at his computer and says, so 
Where's the button to end this? You will let us come visit you. <laughs> well, I'll let you come visit New Zealand, but I probably wouldn't give anybody my address. I'm a very private person. <laughs> but uh, hey, if you want to have coffee when you're in New Zealand, uh, just just hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and have a coffee with you. How does that sound? Oh, <laughs> no way. I'm not. Look, I'm not a great musician, okay? I, I'm, I'm a curious, I'm a, what's called a curious musician. I like to learn how to do things, but I, have you ever heard that saying, jack of all trades, but master of none? I, I'm definitely master of nothing. <laughs> so anyway, look, I'm definitely going to go. I need to, um, I need to put some order to the chaos that I find myself and there's stuff all over the place and I need to sort it out. But anyway, until next time, stay tuned and I look forward to that coffee. Bye. Oh, there's the button. End. <laughs>